One way to minimize our exposure to electromagnetic radiation is to fill our homes with plants that can absorb or eliminate these waves. The following is a list of plants that absorb EMF. Aloe vera. Aloe vera has long been used for its many medicinal purposes, but it is also capable of absorbing high levels of radiation. Like many other healthy plants, the aloe vera plant also cleans your air thoroughly, absorbing carbon dioxide and converting it into oxygen. It is a good-looking plant that is easy to grow, so you can harvest it and use it for its many other properties while new plants continue to bud. Aloe vera should be planted in a wide container using a high-quality potting mix similar to what you would use for other succulents. This container should have sufficient drainage, as too much water can lead to rot or wilted leaves, which could ultimately result in a dead plant. These plants do best in indirect sunlight, so be sure to keep them far enough away from the window to get several hours of shade every day, especially if you live in a hot climate. Because of its radio-protective properties, you should place your aloe vera plant in a straight line from the electronic device that is emitting radiation. Make sure not place anything between the two, as this will diminish the ability of the plant to absorb radiation. Having several aloe vera plants throughout the house is an excellent way to protect yourself from radiation and keep your air clean and fresh. Cactus. Cactus is well known as an efficient absorber of radioactive waves thanks to an in-depth study done by NASA. It is especially useful for absorbing the radiation that is produced by computers, making it an excellent plant for any office, whether at work or in your home. It also absorbs the radiation that may be coming from nearby cell phone towers, so it is truly a plant that protects you from a wide range of radioactive activity. Part of what makes cactus such a wonderful plant is that it is so easy to maintain. Cacti do not need to be watered every day, just when the soil gets dry. They grow well with a lot of light in a warm spot, but if you are in a cold climate you can keep them indoors near a window, and they will do just fine. This is preferable, of course, because they need to be kept in a straight line from your computer if you want them to most effectively absorb the harmful radioactive waves that it emits. They are slow growers and should live for a long time provided that you take the minimum effort required to keep them growing healthily. Spider plant. The spider plant is similar in appearance to the snake plant, but the leaves are limp instead of rigid and tend to flow out over the side of the vessel rather than point straight up. The spider plant is a succulent that not only absorbs pollution and cleans your home of harmful gases but is also very useful in absorbing radiation from your electronic devices. Spider plants can be self-sustaining, as they will produce flowers that may cause a new spider plant to form. Once this new plant reaches 2 inches, you should replant it in another pot. Now you have a second spider plant that you can put anywhere, and you didn't even need to go to the store to buy it. This is one of the most economical ways to protect yourself and your family from the harmful EMF waves that can be found throughout your home, especially in areas with electronic devices. Ivy. Ivy is one of the best absorbers of radiation available. It can absorb up to 90% of benzene in the air within 24 hours. This means that it is extremely effective and works fast so that you can start benefiting as soon as you purchase and place this beautiful plant. It is also known to clean and greatly improve the quality of your air, eliminating substances such as carbon dioxide, carbon monoxide, and formaldehyde. Ivy can be planted indoors or outdoors, but if you want to take advantage of its ability to block and eliminate radiation, it is best to use it inside the home. It is easy to grow inside as long you have a room that can provide the plant with plenty of bright light. If you have large windows in the south-facing portion of your home, this is the ideal spot to put the plant. Make sure not to overwater your ivy, as it does best in semi-dry conditions. Check to see that the soil is dry on the top before you water the plant again. You should also plant your ivy in a pot that has plenty of drainages, as it will begin to wilt if it sits in standing water for too long. Rubber plant. The rubber plant is large, aesthetically pleasing plant that has many radio-protective properties. It helps to absorb electromagnetic waves wherever it is kept but will be the most efficient when stored near your electronic devices. It can be grown inside or outside and is relatively easy to maintain considering its beauty and size. In addition to protecting you from radiation, it has plenty of air purifying properties as well. The rubber plant prefers to be kept in a mild environment with indirect light and a cooler temperature. Keep it in an air-conditioned room that gets several hours of sunlight during the day, especially if you live in a hot climate. Windows with curtains can be great, as they will help it receive just the right amount of light. When it is growing, you will need to keep it moist, watering it regularly if you notice that the soil is drying out. 
when it is not growing, you may only need to water it once or twice a month as it won't be using up as many nutrients. The rubber tree is a beautiful, extravagant plant that looks fantastic in any style of room. Placing several throughout your house will give you a tropical feel while protecting you from many of the harmful electromagnetic waves that are constantly being emitted throughout your home. A few final thoughts plants that absorb EMF. In today's world, most people are constantly exposed to electromagnetic radiation. Whether we are using our cell phones, using our laptops, many everyday tasks leave us exposed to these harmful waves. Too much electromagnetic radiation can lead to a variety of health problems, including development or increase of allergies, an increased risk of cancer, and a multitude of neurological disorders. Having plants such as those mentioned in this video, you'll be doing yourself and your family a favor and contributing to the overall health of your entire home. For more EMF protection information go to emfprotectiontips.com.